Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here and I've been getting a ton of requests to do like a more natural, summery, glowy type of look. So I came up with this for you guys. This is something that I would do like on the regular every single day. Like if I wasn't going like out to a dinner or like some kind of thing like that where I would do maybe some more intense makeup. Like this is something that is definitely a go-to type of look for me. Um, I did only use one eyeshadow palette for this look and it was the Morphe 35M palette and this palette is so beautiful and has like a ton of just pretty neutral shades in it and it's $22 and I feel like if you're somebody who likes doing makeup but likes to like use a more like neutral toned palette or something that's more like natural looking that is like the perfect palette for you and you have so many different color combinations in there that it wouldn't have to be the same look all the time you would have like a lot of options and variety within staying in like a reasonable price range and not having to buy like some crazy expensive like palette that you're only going to use three colors out of you know I feel like that is a palette that is like so universal and like so many different looks can come out of it so that's why I use that palette for my eyes today um, but these colors that I used on my eyes can be found in a lot of different eyeshadow palettes so don't think that you have to go and buy this specific palette to do this look like a lot of palettes do have like warm neutrally toned shadows that you could use so if you see something in a palette that you have that is similar to something that I use like by all means totally use that but I'm just suggesting that that palette, if someone, if you are looking for like a new eyeshadow palette to get, then that is definitely one that I would totally recommend. But I just wanted to focus on doing some glowy skin and like mostly focusing on skin and doing like a little color to the eyes and just like a little glowy summer natural look. Yeah, so if you would like to see how to achieve this, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so for any like natural makeup look, I always feel like the most important thing is like making your skin look really nice. So I would always go and prime your face first. Today I'm going to be using Benefits Professional. Um, and I just feel like this really helps to smooth out like your complexion before doing any type of like face makeup. But also, I have gone if you are not a person that likes to wear foundation, um, this does like smooth out your face and makes your skin look a little more even toned. So if you like are not a foundation wearer normally, then I would suggest like putting this just all over your face to help kind of even out your skin tone and then leaving it like that if you want to because it does help to like blur out any of like the imperfections around your like porous more porous areas in your face so I think that a primer is really important to start off with regardless if you're doing like more natural makeup or like a full face of makeup and if you have more dry skin I am tend to be more oily so an oil controlling pore minimizing primer like that one is good for me but I also do really like a primer that's also a moisturizer this one is the Kim Tai and Ofra Wanderlush moisturizer but it also doubles as a primer and this one would also be really good for somebody who finds themselves to be more dry because it's a primer and moisturizer combination so next I'm gonna be going in with my Lancome foundation and like Every video I use this in, I'm just not even gonna pronounce it. Like, I'll write it down at the bottom because I just don't know how to say it. I took two years of French and yet I still don't know how to pronounce this foundation. I'm gonna be blending it in with a Real Technique sponge and I feel like applying foundation with a beauty sponge helps it sometimes to look more natural um, in the skin because a brush kind of topically like moves it around on your face but the sponge really helps to like push it into your skin and I feel like that helps it to have like a more natural kind of effect to your makeup. So I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of that on my sponge and just lightly going around my face. I don't like to tan my face because it gives you wrinkles so my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body right now so I do 
match my foundation to my body rather than matching it to my actual like face color right now. So if you notice that it looks a little off from my actual skin color, that's why. You wanna make sure you're pushing the foundation into the skin, not wiping, because that'll cause streaks and that also makes your foundation look very unnatural. If it's streaky or unblended, you just really want to push it into the skin and make it look as seamless as possible. You wanna pay extra attention to the perimeters of your face. You don't wanna like stop away from your hairline and then have like a foundation line near your hair if your foundation is not exactly the same color as your skin. So I usually like take it and flick it back into my hairline just a little bit that way it blends all together and looks super seamless and super natural and see even with this foundation like i put a full face of it on but you can still see through the foundation my freckles on my nose so it's not full full coverage i would say if you like to do more natural looking makeup but you do want your skin to look nice I would recommend using a sheer to medium coverage foundation because it does even out your skin tone all over your face but you do still have like my birthmark on my forehead and my nose. You still have those natural like marks, birthmarks, molts, anything like that that would still show through and I feel like a lot of people that like a natural makeup look do prefer that. Next I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape and this is like a heavy duty concealer and this is this concealer that I like to use a lot because I do have like really big under eye bags. If you're not into a super heavy duty concealer, I would recommend using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. You can get that at the drugstore. I've used it before in past videos. It's really nice. It covers the under eye bags like just as well, but it's a lot thinner and a lot more lightweight. So if you want something more lightweight underneath your eyes, then I would probably recommend using that. Um, the Shape Tape is just very full coverage and that is something that I do prefer for underneath of my eyes especially and to highlight the high points of my face. So what I'm going to do is just put like a light amount of this underneath of my eyes. I'm not going to draw the big triangles and I'm also not going to pull it all the way up to my under eye because it looks more natural to me if you're able to blend it up into your eye rather than like trying to blend it down away from your eye. So I put it just a little bit underneath of my eye right where I put it and then just go back in with your beauty sponge and blend that all out. And this is especially with a natural makeup look one of the steps that you do not want to rush because a cakey foundation or under eye is so much more telling. If your eyeshadow isn't really blended out, it's not as noticeable, but if your foundation looks super cakey or packed on, then that is a little bit more noticeable and something I know that like if you're looking for a more natural makeup look, is that's something that you do not want at all. So you really just wanna pay a lot of attention to taking your time and really blending out all of that foundation and concealer because those creams can sometimes crease and look super cakey but if you take the time to like blend them out then it will be perfectly fine and then i'm going to set my under eye and the parts that i highlighted of my face with the rcma no color powder and i'm just going to take a little bit of this and start on the outside of my eye and set inwards pouncing motions inwards towards your eye and lately I found that I've seen this tip from a couple makeup artists on YouTube but apparently this helps to avoid like creasing your concealer and I don't know it apparently it helps I've been doing it lately and have noticed a little difference pulling it inwards rather than like pouncing it outwards any places that you would normally crease or get a little bit oily, this is where I would put your setting powder. If you're looking for a more natural look, you're not necessarily going to want to like deep contour your cheeks. 
you're probably just gonna want like a light bronze just to warm up your face a little bit more and add a little bit of definition without like a sharp contour line. So I'm gonna use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and, oh, I smell it every time. It just smells so good. And a Morphe E34 brush. And this brush is just a little bit bigger and a little more dense. And I like using this just to kind of bronze up my complexion, just to look a little defined, but not so much so that it's like harsh. So you're just gonna take this in the same areas that you would contour in but just not as precise, using more like circular round motions, bringing that up the side of your hairline into your temples, just a little bit. And you can see like the difference between this side of my face that I haven't done yet and this side. This side just looks a little bit more shapely because of like the contour on my temple and on my cheek and this side is just like kind of round and like not shaped off. So I think that not necessarily everybody would love to contour but just bronzing up your face a little bit with a like nice bronzing powder. You don't want anything too, too warm that's gonna look too orange but you don't want anything too cool either that's gonna look super muddy on your skin. Yeah, and this you can find in literally any CVS, Walgreens, like they have this everywhere and it's super affordable and super nice and it smells awesome. So, and again, this is not something you have to do. This is a personal preference because I don't like the way my eyebrows look just like this. But like if you have your own eyebrows and you love them and they look good, that's totally fine. Um, but I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in my brows. I've been liking using a brow pencil lately just because I feel like it gives me a lighter hand and a lighter look to my brows rather than using a um, brow mousse like I used to use, the Tarte one. I still love using it, but I feel like I like to use it for a more like dramatic or bold look. For an everyday type of look, I like my brows to look still shapely and filled in, but just a little more natural. All right, so then for eyeshadow, we don't wanna do anything like too bold with colors. So the palette that I like love and would totally recommend to somebody who like likes doing makeup but doesn't want like super crazy colors or anything like that, this is the 35-0 Matte Palette by Morphe. It also comes in like the normal 35-0 and it has some like shimmer shades in it. But this is the all matte palette and if you're not like into shimmer, if you just kind of want a little bit of color on your lids, then this would definitely be something really nice to invest in. It's super cheap and you get like a lot of shadows in it. So I feel like if it's in stock, it's definitely worth it. So I will put it in the description down below so you guys can look it up and if you're interested in that, you can get that. For all over my lid, I'm gonna start with this color right here and taking that on a Morphe R40 brush. And I'm just gonna kind of buff that into my crease a little bit, but this is mostly just a neutral toned transition shade. So next I'm going to be taking a Morphe M433 brush and going in with going in with this color and this color right here, like mixed together. It's kind of like a more orangey and then a more brown shade right here. So I'm gonna mix those two and put that in my crease. And also like orangey colors work on, like if you have blonde hair, red hair, brown hair, like any orangey tone color is gonna look nice on anybody. All right, and next I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M507 brush and going in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna be putting that on the very outside corner of my eye, but keeping it just very, very low towards my crease. You don't want it to get too high. This color is just gonna deepen your outer corner just a little bit without having it be like super, super dark or super like black or dark, dark brown or anything. It's like a more milk chocolatey brown type of shade. And then when it's kind of like there placed on your eye, I'm gonna go back in with the M433 brush that I used with the last two colors, just to kind of blend all of that together on my eye. 
And then I'm gonna take a little tiny detail brush and that color we used to deepen up the outer corner and just bring that really close under my lower lash line. So it's not super smoked out, but there is a little, little bit of color just right under there. And this will also help to make your eyelashes look a tad longer. And next thing I'm gonna do is highlight my face. This is a step that you can totally skip, but I do really enjoy doing this um, like during the summer because it makes you look super glowy and like pretty and tanned and summer and nice. So I really like enjoy doing this regardless of like what kind of look I'm doing. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my cheekbones. Um, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop collaboration. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of it on my finger and pop it right in my inner corner of my eye just to kind of bring some like, lightness and definition to your inner corner without having to like pull out another eyeshadow and just put that lightly right under your brow bone. Also, if you are wearing, if it's the summer and you're wearing like a top like I'm wearing today, you can kind of like dust your shoulders and your collarbones just a little bit. And I think this makes your skin look so glowy and beautiful without like having to do anything. You just put a little bit of highlight on your shoulders and on your collarbones and it adds like an extra like glow to your decolletage and that just makes you look like super summery and glowy and I think that's what everybody would like with like a natural type of look. Alright so next thing I'm going to be doing is curling my lashes and putting on the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara and I think that mascara is so 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 important. <laughs> Your eyes look a lot more open and wide and awake. Yeah, so like this eye has the mascara, obviously, and this eye doesn't. And just, I feel like this eye looks so much more open and awake, and this one looks a little more closed off. And I just, it makes a difference to me. And next, I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of blush, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I just feel like this color is like, it's a little shimmery, but it's also like a little bit peachy, and I feel like it works perfect with like a more natural look, because it's just like really pretty. It adds like a soft flush to your face without it being like red or like super dark or anything. All right, and next, you can totally put on a lipstick if you want to, but if I'm doing a more natural look like this, I usually don't. And what I've been using, I use this probably like every single day, and this is the NYX Butter Gloss. It's in the color Madeline, and it is just so pretty. Like it has this like pinky brown nude tone to it, but it's like also a little bit opaque, but not too opaque because it's a gloss. It's just so pretty. So I always love to pair any natural look with a gloss because I just feel like it adds to like the luminous look of your face. So this is definitely like a staple lip gloss for me. I love this lip gloss. And lastly, I'm gonna set my face because it's Florida and it's hot and it's the summer and I just have to do it. Um, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Prep and Set Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna go back with my beauty sponge and just press that into the skin. And that helps all of your powders, everything just kind of blend together really nicely. All right, everybody, and that is it for this look. I feel like any natural look is really focusing on the skin and looking smooth and glowy and just like bright and luminous and I feel like this look kind of captures that without being too intense or too strong of a contour or highlight any of that stuff like it's all just very minimal but still like super beautiful and natural and pretty so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and helps you out a little bit i'm getting a lot of requests about doing a more natural makeup look like this so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to my channel it would mean so so much to me and i would really appreciate it thanks for watching guys bye